hello friends and welcome to our today's tutorial if you are new to this channel i say a very big thank you for joining us today and if you're a returning viewer wow thank you for finding our content so valuable and sure to stay to the end because in today's class we are going to see how to solve this beautiful math olympiad question no it is very simple okay and don't forget to give this channel your subscription share this video and remember to give us a thumbs up and your comments as we go through this now let's do this together so this is what we are asked to solve to get x and y value math olympiad now one thing i will tell you about math olympiad is that it always wants you to think you are going to think out the best approach to be used for any question okay i can't say that there is a particular approach but the question wants you to look out for the best approach so the best approach to answer this is what i want to show you and let's do it together so we're going to have this is what we have as 6 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of y is equal to 42 and x plus y is equal to 3. now is it possible for us to remember this is equation one and this is two is it possible for us to multiply equation one with six to the power of x remember you can multiply with six to the power of x you can also use six to the power of y whichever one you want to use okay now let's use six to the power of x so we're going to multiply equation one multiply it by six to the power of x i hope that is clear so if you do that you are going to have six to the power of x we multiply each of these terms so we have six to the power of x is multiplying six to the power of this six x i hope you are following you six to the power of x multiply each of these then bring down your positive sign six to the power of y remember we are using six x to multiply so it will be six to the power of x multiply six to the power of y i hope you are getting it is equal to 42 we multiply by six to the power of uh, x i hope that is clear so this is what we have now what do you do from here what you need to do is remember if you have a raised to power m multiply a raised to power m they are the same you can rate take it to be a raised to power m raised to power 2 okay since they are the same it can just be this to the power of two, meaning that a raised to power m is 2 i hope you are getting it so what does it mean it means for this i am going to have 6 raised to power x or raised to power 2 because this is 2 showing that this is also 2 okay plus for this what do i do they are not the same variables remember your rule of indices here which says that a raised to power m multiply a raised to power n the powers are different okay what you do is you just add the powers so it will be a raised to power m plus n and this is what we are going to do here so in that case we are going to now have 6 to the power of x plus y is equal to 6 to the power of x multiplies 42 i hope it's making sense now now what do you do next go back to the question given you will notice that equation 2 is given as x plus y is equal to 3 can it be of any use to us yes we are going to put it here so we can call this equation three okay so what we say here is we are going to put equation two into equation three now let's do that together so that is going to give us now it's going to give us six to the power of x all raised to power two plus six okay x plus y we have said from this equation is three i hope you are getting it so it will be six to the power of three is equal to six to the power of x multiplies 42 i hope you see what you did 
we turn this, we have this, plus 6, x plus y from equation 2 is 3. Okay, so we have this. Is equal to this is this. So when you have this kind of equation, is it not something you can do? It is just an exponential equation you can easily solve. Now, what do you do? You can now say, you notice there is something common, which is 6 to the power of x. You can, let's say, let 6 to the power of x be a letter. We can use m. I hope you are following. So to replace it here, we're going to have 6 raised to the power of x is m. We have m squared plus 6 to the power of 3, 6 times 6 times 6 to give us uh, 216. So this is going to give us 216 is equal to 6 to the power of x is m. So we have m multiplies 42. So what we do next is this is m squared plus 216 is equal to multiply this you have 42m. To remove this, you subtract from both sides. So we're going to have m squared minus 42m plus 216 is equal to zero. We have gotten a quadratic equation. So let's solve this quadratically. We can use factoring method, okay? So let's use factor. But remember, if you are factoring it, the coefficient here is one, so we don't have problem. What you need to do is to get two factors of 216, such that when you multiply it, it gives you 216. And those two factors, if you add it, it will give you negative 42. Okay, if you get the two factors multiply, it gives you 216 with positive sign. If you add it, it will give you negative 42. So what numbers could that be? It will now be 26, that is 36 and 6. Okay, remember 36 times 6 will give us 216. I hope you are following. And what signs are we going to attach to them? We are going to have negative 36 and negative 6, such that when you multiply negative and negative, it gives you positive. Multiply this to give you 216. I hope you've seen that. Then if you also add it, let's add this. You notice that when you add this, it will still give you negative 42. So you see the two factors are negative 36 and negative 6. So with these two factors now, you can now conclude to now have this will now give us, because it's m squared, we are going to open two brackets for m, okay? Then put these two values we've gotten, which is negative 36 and negative 6 is equal to 0. So what do you do from here? We are now going to have, if this and this are equal to 0, m minus 36 is 0. Add 36 to both sides, m will be 0 plus 36. So that m will be equal to 36. Or m minus 6 is 0. Add that add 6 to both sides. m will be 0 plus 6. So that m will be equal to 6. So you see that the two values of m are this. But note that m is not in the question. What you have in the question is to find the value of x and y. Okay, but this can help us to get them. Remember, where we made a statement that let this be equal to m. So let's use it to get x, okay? So in that case, when m is 36, what happens? Then 6 to the power of x will be equal to your m will be 36, okay? And you know, 66 can be expressed as a product of 6. To give us 6 times 6, which means that 6 to the power of x is something as 6 raised to the power 2. I hope you got that. And if that is the case, it means that in your indices, if the bases are the same, you are free to cancel it. And then the powers will be equal. Okay, so it means that here x will be equal to 2. I hope it's clear. Then for when m is 6, what do you think happens? If m is 6, use the same. We have 6 to the power of x is 6. And you know 6 is the same as 6 to the power of 1. Cancel the basis. x will give us uh, 1. So you see we've gotten two values of x as 2 and 1. Now let's get the values of uh, y. 
So we conclude to have that the value of y will now be equal to. Remember in our equation two, which we very taken care of, we said that x plus y is three. Okay, in that equation two. So if your x is two, when x is two, what happens? We are going to have. 2 plus y is 3. Subtract 2. This is positive. So we're going to subtract. So that y will give us 3 minus 2. And y, if you subtract, y will give us 1. Okay? Then when x is equal to 1, we have 2 plus... Sorry, we are going to have 1 plus y is 3. Subtract 1 from both sides. So we have y is 3 minus one and y will give us two so you see that the two values of y are one and two and the values of x are two and one so if you want to put it clearer in in pairs it means that when x is two our y is one okay and when x is one our y is two so this becomes the solution to this particular question I hope you learned a lot in today's tutorial. If you did, remember not to forget to give us a thumbs up. Let's know your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel for more are coming. And remember to leave your thoughts with us. I will see you next. Till then. Bye. -bye.